In this short video, we are going to discuss the definition of the derivatives. So our definition is that the derivative of a function at a number a, which we write as f prime of a, is the limit as h goes to zero of the quotient f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. A different definition, which sometimes is more convenient, is to use f prime of a equals the limit as x approaches a of the quotient f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. So let's use this definition and try to calculate derivative. The derivative f prime of 2, where f of x equals x squared minus 4x. So I'm going to have to calculate f prime at 2 equals the limit as x approaches to of f of x minus f of 2 all over x minus 2. So that will equal the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4x minus, now if I replace 2 in the place of x, I'll get 4 minus 8, so I'll get minus a negative 4 all over x minus 2. So I'll get a plus 4 here, which means I can factor the numerator as x um, oops, minus 2, x minus 2 times x minus 2, and the denominator is still x minus 2. So x minus 2 is a common factor, and so I'm left with the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2, which is going to be z. Let me clear my yeah, drawings. There we go. So now, how can we interpret the derivative? Well, it represents the rate of change of the function values, that is the y values, with respect to x. And we have already seen the geometric interpretation of f prime of a would be the slope of the tangent line on the graph of y equals f of x at the point a comma f of a. A physical interpretation, if I have a function s of t, which represents the position of a particle moving in a straight line, then s prime of a is the velocity of the particle at time t equals a. So in general, if we can express the average rate of change as the difference in y over the difference in x, 
then the derivative represents the instantaneous rate of change, or simply the rate of change, which would be the limit as the change in x goes to zero of the quotient change in y over change in x. Well, I hope you found this short video on the definition of the derivative useful.